Welcome to Conversations with Zaki Baruti. And like always, I want to give a shout out to my biological family. What's going on? Hi. To the Universal African People's Organization family. What's up? And to the New Life Evangelist Center family, uh, keep up the great work that you're doing here by Reverend Rice. And a shout out to our cameraman Bob this evening. Like always, we'll have a great show. And in studio with me is the very lovely, intelligent, and hardworking sister named Miss Eva Sorez. Welcome to Conversations with Zaki Baruti. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, like always, we start our program out with uh, the thousands of viewers uh, asking our guests to share a little background information about yourself. You know, where you grew up at, uh, school you went to, uh, wherever you want people to know about Eva. Hello, my name is Carmata Eva Suarez, and I am the owner of Diversify Tax Services. And I am here with Mr. Zaki Baruti, and thank you so much. Okay, right. We want to express this year for the tax season, this is going to be a different tax season from any other tax season that you've ever been through before because there's a lot of changes and we want to just let you all know of the expression of how important it is to start getting your tax prayer together before we open up for the season. So that will let everybody know the difference is all the things that we have to do for this tax season as far as your filing. Everything that people have received in their past that does not have anything to do with what's going on right now. Right now, we have to have a lot of verifications as far as our taxes are concerned. And I'm going to share with you all and Mr. Baruti that we need to have as far as self-employment, as far as household, as far as filing your children and everything. Okay, so you went way ahead before uh, you jumped to a question I was going to get into in terms of, you know, uh, why you're here. But again, I want to go back to a little bit about who Eva is, some of your background, if you will. Okay, uh, my background uh, I've been doing tax services for a few years now. Uh, my other background goes into other things besides taxes. Such as? Uh, I have a restaurant. It's called Nana Snack Shop. And then not only Nana Snack Shop, I have um, appliances business and all that. And So in essence, you're just a... Uh, uh, a, a great enterprise and entrepreneur on a <laughs> lot of different levels then, huh? Are you from St. Louis area? I am in St. Louis area now. Yes, oh, I am. Okay, then. Now, uh, early on, uh, when you were mentioning in terms of, you know, we're getting ready to enter into the tax season, um, and I want to get in, and you were just mentioning it's a lot of different changes uh, that's uh taxpayers will have to deal with for this tax season. But before we get into that, uh, there's a lot of people, there's a concern with uh, the current shutdown in terms of the United States government, uh, where you have the Republicans and the Democrats going over, uh, you know, in terms of a struggle as it relates to the border wall. What is the, is that going to have any kind of effect, uh, effect on the uh, tax season? No, sir. This is not going to have any effect on a tax season this year because by law, every individual is responsible to be a responsible tax paying individual at the end of the year, regardless of what's going on with the United States government by law. As a citizen, you still have to do your due diligence. And due diligence is being a law-abiding citizen and preparing your taxes. 
every oh. year. Okay, then. So that will have no effect, you're saying, in essence. Now, again, uh, your company is Diversified Tax Service. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And how long have you been uh, in business? I've been in business a couple years now. I've owned my business a couple years now. Okay, then. Now, as a business owner, you were just saying that the people have to be prepared for a lot of different changes as it relates to the laws governing uh, filing taxes. Uh, let's look at some of those uh, um, changes that, uh, you know, that they'll have to deal with. What would be one of the first changes that people need to be conscious of? This year, I would like to let everyone know that just because you've been doing your taxes a certain way for the last five, ten years, it doesn't matter because this year is different. You have to have verification in order to get your taxes completed this year. So um, as one of a verification, you could have two children and they have two different last names, mm -hmm. okay? You've been following them for the last past five years. And, With the two different names. Right, okay. and you've never had a problem before. But the, guess what? This year, if they don't have the same last name as you, everyone, by law, by the IRS, you have to have proof of documentation that they are your biological children. And with that being said, this year, you wouldn't have to, in the past, put on your tax returns that, oh, this is my child. This year, you would have to provide uh, school documents, for the records, or you will have to provide a birth certificate proving that the child is yours because of the fraud that has been going on for a lot of years before. So with that being said, if you do not have the same last name as your child, vice versa, you will have to show documentation that this child belongs to you. Okay, on that note, uh, we'll have to take our first break. So on that note, uh, we're going to take this break. It's the gifts of caring people like you that help keep the Zakib Baruti show on the air, dealing with hard issues, issues that we must begin to recognize in our community, issues that are frequently ignored by much of the existing media. And St. Louis and the St. Louis area is a community that's famous for its Jim Crow policies of keeping the people down by elevating the rich and the powerful. I want to encourage you to get a copy of the book Through the Fire as you share your gift of $10 or more to help keep Zaki's program on the air and directly help the hurting and the homeless. This book goes into great detail about the bigotry and the self-centeredness of the rich and powerful. It was implemented through the politicians to drive the homeless out of the area by shutting down the Work A New Life Evangelistic Center. But the work isn't shut down. It's moving forth in many other different locations. It's moved out on the streets among the people, and it's working to get back into 1411 Locust, all of which is made possible through the prayers and gifts of caring individuals like you. And that's why your gift is so very important at this time. And as you share that gift with New Life Evangelistic Center of $10 or more at P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, 63166, be sure you request your copy of Through the Fire. Yes, God is moving in a mighty way. New Life Evangelistic Center has not given up in spite of all the persecution. It's given it to God, and we're seeing Him now do exceedingly abundantly beyond what we can even ask or think. I ask you to continue to pray for us at the New Life Evangelistic Center as we're working to continue to bring you community programming like the Zaki Baruti Show and are out on the streets among the homeless, working among the homeless distributing bus tickets every week and emergency supplies for them, opening up safe houses for the homeless women and children, expanding training programs for the homeless. All of it is possible because of each one of you that is sharing that much needed gift now with New Life Evangelistic Center. So when you send your gift of $10 or more, please request a copy of Through the Fire. It's P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri. That's 63166.
Thanks to New Life Evangelistic Center, thousands of mothers with children around the world can stay together. They can pursue their educations and they grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you to all of our Club 24 members who make this miracle happen. 2 Timothy 1, verse 10. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Welcome back to Conversations with Zaki Baruti. In studio with me is Miss Eva Suarez, who's the owner of Diversified Tax Services, and we're looking at the upcoming tax uh, season. And she's sharing with us that there's going to be a lot of different changes uh, that people ought to be aware of before you uh, go to your various uh, tax preparers. Uh, going back, you were saying there's a lot of verification that's needed to be taking place. Let's start with say, the head of the household. Is there any verification? Exactly. I'm so glad you brought that up because this is one of the biggest issues that I want to bring up. When people are filing head of household this year, this year the IRS is requiring that you have a utility bill to show that you are the head of household. You have to show documentation of being the head of the household. So you have to have... So you mean to tell me all these years I've been filing taxes, you know, where I've been filing jointly, and some other people may be saying, all these years I've been filing, we have to submit something uh, with our taxes uh, that's been done that verify who we are as house. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. I am definitely telling you that because this year you need to show and I am a tax preparer. I have a company, Diversified Tax Services. You have to show us that you are the head of the household. So they're not going to look at three people filing head of the household and one house this year. You have to have a utility bill. You have to have something that's stating that you are the head of the household in order to file that this year. In order to file um, anything this year, you're going to have to have proof of documentations. They're going to give you the credit. They've upped the credit. But in order to receive the credit, you have to show the proof. Now, when you say they have upped the credit, what are you speaking of in terms of upping the credit? They have up. And when you say they, you're talking about the government. The government, okay. the IRS. Uh-huh. Okay. The IRS has upped the credit that the standard deductions have been hired. So you don't have to prove as much on your standard deductions this year. Only thing you have to do this year is put your credit as far as, as far as your credit is concerned. You have to show proof. If these children belong to you, a lot of people in the past have already like spent time doing other people like, oh, I take care of my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I take care of my daughter, I take care of my son, I take care of my, my mom, okay, all that. We have a form this year that the IRS has allocated that has to be filled out. If someone is filing a tax return this year with their children and they say, oh, I'm filing this child, we need to have a reason why this year are you filing a child that doesn't belong to you? Mm -hmm. So and, and, so these are new regulations that have been, I guess, passed. Allocated by right. the... Right. Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, and these regulations uh, have been passed, uh, I think you had made mention, because of a lot of fraud. Has, there has been a lot of so-called fraud, fraud uh, in terms of people filing taxes. Is that right? Okay. So what are some of the standard deductions that people can uh, write off, say, for a family of four? What, uh, are there some basic deductions that people can uh, do? Okay, here's the thing. The law with the IRS has allocated, you have a $500 deduction this year for people that are your nieces, your nephews, your brothers, your sisters, your grandma, your grandpa. When you get to the cousin situation, then it, it takes it off the line. Mm -hmm. It's only for the immediate family. And they get a $500 tax credit. They get a $500 tax credit because they're helping with their uh, relatives. But the relatives, it doesn't go down to cousins. And this is something that a lot of people really need to understand as well, too. So it doesn't give you $500 money. It gives you a $500 tax deduction on that as far as the income is concerned because you're giving money and helping provide for these people. So that gives you a deduction on the tax credit at the end of the year. Okay, then. Now, uh, before my next question, we'll have to not take another quick break. Hello, I'm Larry Rice, uh, Director of New Life Evangelistic Center and NLEC TV, and I come to you now and I ask you just to please pray and consider becoming a partner with us here so that we can continue to keep conversations with Zaki Baruti on the air. It's only because of the faithful support of individuals like you that we can provide this service along with a multitude of services to the poor, the fatherless, the widowed, the hurting, and the homeless. Your prayers, your gifts right now are absolutely essential as we confront gentrification in our community of rich and powerful people that want the poor and homeless out of sight and out of mind. We're trying to get 1411 open back up again. We can do that if you will help us. We can provide shelter once again. We're doing it in many other locations, but we need your help now to keep conversations with the key on the air and to help those that are hurting in need. And it's New Life Evangelistic Center, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. Or you can discover us online by going to nlecstl.org. Thank you for praying, caring, and sharing at this critical hour. How important are St. Louis Metro passes to the needy? To provide stability and permanent change to the homeless, they need jobs. But how do they get transportation to look for work when they have no money? And when they find a job, how will they get there? Become a part of NLEC's Metro Pass program and help bring enduring change to a life. I have doctor's appointments that I have to attend, uh, going to seek jobs and putting in applications. I really would like you to understand the importance and the need for this ministry. And anything that you can do to keep this ministry going, please know that it is an extension of God's love. What does it mean to you to help you get, a, that new life's giving you to help you get off the streets? What it means for me, it means that it gives me the ability to experience a better quality of life, first of all. Thank God for New Life Evangelistic Center. 
Welcome back to Conversations with Zaki Baruti in studio with me is Ms. Eva Soares, and she's with Diversified Tax Services, and we're looking at some of the different changes uh, through per the tax code. Um, first of all, if anybody wanted to contact you uh, off air, you know, in terms of uh, utilizing your service and having further questions about the changes, how would they get in contact with you? Diversified Tax Services. 314-669-5506. Say it again now. 314-669-5506. Okay, then. And um, for one child, uh, in terms of, uh, we have a flyer here. Would you explain this particular flyer in terms of, uh, you got $4,861 for one child. Uh, what are you, I mean, and... Uh, it also goes uh, check off with free estimates, uh, W-2, 1099, self-employment, 6000 advance, W tax form, reform, refund, mm -hmm. that is. Okay, explain this. Okay. With the tax reform that we have, it doesn't matter. Everyone by law has to file their tax returns. If you're cutting grass, if you are cleaning house, it does not matter. You need to file your tax returns. It is the law. It's going to help you beneficially in the long run because as a citizen, that's your due diligence as a citizen to file your tax return. But the thing is, you want to make sure that someone can help you do the best for your due diligence. You can be a single mom and... And have, do your best, you just made me think. Make, making sure you get some money back from the government rather than on the government, ideally. But go ahead, I'm sorry. Exactly. Right. And, the, and that's true. And the thing is, what we want to do is educate everybody to let them know how they can get the best that they deserve. You understand what I'm saying? As far as self-employed, just because you're self-employed, you still need to file your tax return. Just because you're self-employed and you got cash, that doesn't mean that you're not going to receive a tax return. And what is the penalties for folks not filing tax returns as self-employed? Is there a particular penalty that you know of? The penalty is going to be self-penalty because at when, the end of the day, your due diligence as a taxpayer, you're supposed to file your taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now, this year, we don't, we don't have penalties for not having insurance this year like we had last year. We had penalties. And that was those penalties for health insurance. Exactly. That was part of the Obama uh, health care plan, right? Affordable Care Act. Yes, sir. So it's no penalties. I guess that came as an extension of Trump being the president and rescinding much of uh, a cutting into a lot of that act. Is So you're saying there's no penalty for that this year? No, sir. Okay. Okay, then. Are there any other kinds of changes that the people need to be aware of? The only changes that I really would like to express to all of my uh, taxpayers out there is that please get with a tax preparer to help you get it together as far as your taxes. You will be receiving all the credits that you have to get for your business if you're self-employed. Just because you're self-employed, do not be afraid because you get cash money. That does not mean that you're going to owe the IRS money just because you're a self-employed individual. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to get their taxes done. And even if you're a single mom and you're on welfare, you still need 
to do your due diligence. Everybody needs to do their due diligence. Okay, then. So one of the key things that the message for today is do your due diligence. Due diligence and file it's, your taxes. But on that note, we got to take one last break. NLAC TV will continue to bring you wholesome family programming, plus many, many community shows that you only can see on NLEC TV. It's very important you bring it up on your iPhone, the NLEC TV app, or continue to watch it on 24.2. You'll be able to continue to see the Bernie Hayes Show, Zaki Baruti. You'll be able to see Transformation at Church with Pastor Burris. In addition to that, you'll be able to see our Here's Help programs, plus Laura's Rock On and News and Views, and so much more new and creative stuff that's going to be brought to you on NLEC TV. If you have questions on how to get that app on your iPhone or how to tune in 24.2, call now, 314-436-2424. It's NLEC TV that's going to continue to bring you the best and wholesome community, family, entertainment, and renewable energy programming. So be sure you stay right there on NLEC TV. And again, for further information, call 436-2424. John 11, verses 25 and 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. For just 80 cents a day, you can help many people in need all around the world. That's only $24 a month. The New Life Evangelistic Center wants you to help feed the hungry and shelter the homeless by joining Club 24. For $24 a month, you can be a part of touching people's lives. For just 80 cents a day, you can make a difference in someone's life. Call 314-881-3210 or give online at newlifeevangelisticcenter.org. Welcome back to Conversations with Zaki Baruti, and we only have about a couple minutes left with uh, Eva Suarez with Di Diversified Tax Services. Uh, when we're talking in terms of everybody need to file their taxes, does that, does that include college students also? I'm so glad you brought that up. Even college students, even if you are a college student online and you're doing all your classes online, you are going to receive something, <clears throat> excuse me, that you have to file at the end of the year. The college is going to give you an AOC, okay? And each, they don't, the, the students don't even have to have a job. Oh, is that right? So they don't have to have a job. Just going to college is... Just being a student. You can be an online student or you can be a university student. Okay. And they can still file taxes and get a refund. Oh, okay then. So that for those of you out there that, you know, you were cash strapped and, uh, you know, the government spending trillions of dollars on defense and all this other wasteful spending, uh, then you possibly could get some money per uh, what you're saying to our people. Uh, on that note, if anybody, again, uh, want to get more information about uh, the services you provide, how would they get in contact with you? Diversify Tax Services, 314-669-669-55-06. Now, let me ask this. Uh, uh, in terms of you providing the ser uh, services to the people, I know it's beneficial to you. And how do you look upon your uh, business venture overall? I am so blessed every day. When I wake up every day, I smile first. And then I say, God bless me for blessing others and my enemies and my friends. And with the knowledge that God has given me, then I always make sure that I can provide the correct information so that the person can get the best that they deserve. So on that note, uh, we want to salute you for wanting to help people. And again, for anybody that uh, needs this kind of service, then please reach out to Ms. Uh, Eva Soraz, Diversified Tax Services. On that note, you've been listening to uh, Conversations with Zaki Baruti, uh, and may God bless each and every one of you.